Hey there, and thanks for checking out this tutorial. I'm Daniel Brodeski, and today we are going to learn how to create 3D curved screens inside of After Effects. Now, I personally like to call it a 3D curved screen, although this is a technique that can be used to achieve other different results. Let's take a look at a short preview I have created for this tutorial. So, as you just saw in the preview, we had pictures made up of planes distributed in 3D space to create this look of a 3D curved screen. Right here in After Effects, I have also prepared a demo composition to demonstrate you how well this 3D curved screen reacts in 3D space. Now, of course, you can bend it in any direction you want and it all can be very easily controlled. So, I'm right here in After Effects CC you can use earlier version of After Effects as well. I'm going to open up a new project, so Ctrl Alt N on my keyboard and I'm not going to save this. First of all, I would advise you to go ahead and get the scripts we are going to use in this particular tutorial. You can get all of them on ascripts.com. We are going to be using the layer chain as well as the split image script and we are also going to be taking advantage of the TrueComp duplicator and the reposition anchor point tool. All of these are really great scripts that you can get on ascripts.com. So go ahead, download these scripts, install them in your scripts folder and restart After Effects. Now we are right here in After Effects and the first thing I am going to do is import the pictures I'm going to use into my project panel. So here I am in the project panel with four pictures which I'm going to use. I'm going to now create a new folder and call this folder pictures. Let's take all of the pictures I'm going to use and drop them into the pictures folder. Now I'm going to create a new composition which is going to be 1280 by 720, 10 seconds long and 24 frames per second. I'm going to call it pick number one and click OK. Into this composition I'm going to drop my first picture. Just make sure it fits within the composition and it fills everything up and we are good to go. I'm going to select this composition from the project panel. Now make sure you have selected it from the project panel and then go to File, Scripts and select Split Image. Now it can be off screen but simply select the Split Image script you have just installed and right here you have only two settings the columns and the rows. I'm going to set the number of columns to be 5 and the number of rows to be 1. Now I can click execute and right away I can see that there is a new composition created in the project panel. I'm going to double click it in order to open it. Now over here I can see that my picture was split into 5 sections. Now these sections are the planes which are going to be distributed in 3D space to achieve the look we desire. In this composition, I'm going to create a new null object, so Ctrl Alt Shift Y on the keyboard. And with the null still selected, click Ctrl Shift Y to rename it and click it Control. To this control null object, I'm going to add an angle control effect from the expression category. So in the effects and presets panel, type angle control and from the expression controls, I'm going to add this effect to my null object. I'm also going to make this null invisible by clicking once on this eyeball over here. And I'm also going to lock the effect controls panel just so I have the angle control always available over here. I'm going to select my slices of the picture. So select all of them in the composition and make all of them 3D. While all of the slices are selected, I'm going to reposition their anchor point to the left side of each slice. I'm going to do it using the reposition anchor point tool. Simply click on this little arrow over here and then click reposition. Right away you can see that the anchor point was moved to the left side of each slice. Now after you made sure all of them are 3D and you have moved the anchor point to the right place, I'm going to select one of the slices and click R to reveal its rotation settings. I'm going to hold Alt on my keyboard and click once on the stopwatch next to the Y rotation. 
This will allow me to add an expression to this property. And using the pickup tool, I'm going to select the angle from the angle control effect. That's all. Now I can click away. I'm going to copy this rotation property. So select it and click Ctrl C or go to edit copy. And now select the rest of the slices and click Ctrl V. So we have basically pasted the same expression to all of the Y rotations of these slices. Now, once we change this value of the angle control, we see that all of our slices react accordingly. We are not quite there yet. Let's select all of the slices and use another script we have just installed and it is the layer chain. Let's go to file, scripts, layer chain and click yes. Basically saying we want to parent each of the selected layers to the layer above it. So let's click yes and now we have this layer chain. Now go ahead and change the angle control value and see what happens. You have basically achieved the 3D curved screen look you are looking for. I'm going to set this value to minus 35 to have a nice angle. And now I can take this splitted comp, place it into another comp, and I'm going to rename it, call it curved. And inside of this curved composition, I'm going to collapse the transformations for my pre-composition and make this a 3D layer. I'm also going to add a camera, so Ctrl Alt Shift C to add a camera and click OK. I'm also going to add a null object to this scene. Ctrl Alt Shift Y, make the null a 3D null and parent the camera to the null. I'm going to rename this null object Ctrl Shift Y and call it Cam Control. And now I can use this null object to navigate the camera around and you can see how easily I can control everything over here. You can also select the orbit camera tool and orbit around what you've just created, moving it and taking a look at what you have over here, positioning your camera as you desire. Now if you have more planes, I mean if you split it to more columns, you will have a smoother shape over here, a smoother curve, and you will need to set a lower number for your angle control. Now, the reason we have installed the true comp duplicator is to make our life easier. Now we don't have to go through this process again of creating this whole setup. We can simply select the picture number one split composition and using the true comp duplicator script, which I'm going to put over here. We can duplicate it a few times. I'm going to duplicate it three times. Make sure I'm duplicating the footage as well and simply click duplicate selected and I'm duplicating this splitted comp. So duplicate selected, it is going to go through everything duplicated and here we are done with the process. Let's see what the true comp duplicator has done for us. Let's take a look at the project panel. And right away we can see that it has created a lot of stuff. Let's collapse everything just not to get confused. And we will take a look at everything in just a second. I'm going to close everything at first. So basically we have three new folders created for us by the true comp duplicator. The first one is folder number three, the second one is folder number four and then five. I'm going to open folder number three. So open it up and let's enter the picture number two comp. Double click it. And over here we have the picture which we used for picture number one as well. So we want to switch it and we have our pictures folder. We can take the second picture from this folder, drop it over here. And now if we go to picture number two splitted, we can see that our curved screen is using now the updated picture. And we can, of course, change the angle of our screen. But before going ahead and changing this angle and wondering why it is not responding in this composition, it is because you have locked the panel of the previous controller. So make sure this is not locked and then select your controller within this composition. And now go ahead and mess with this value. So using the true comp duplicator, you have saved yourself the somewhat tedious process of creating this whole rigged system. 
you can now simply go into the compositions of your pictures and place the pictures you want to use so in picture number three i'm going to place the third picture scale it up to fit within the composition and it is already updated now I can go ahead, create a new composition, which will be my scene. Control N on the keyboard and call it scene. Click OK. Make sure it is outside of the folder. And I can go ahead, create a background, a simple solid background with a four color gradient effect applied to it. A camera and an all object. Place a floor if you like and lights. And you can easily create this scene I have created over here. Instead of creating all of this now, I'm just going to show you the scene I have created for the preview. So here is the scene I used in the preview. It has a background solid layer, as I mentioned, and it is a 2D solid. It also has a floor, which is a 3D solid, and it is rotated on its x-axis to act as a floor. I have a few lights, a light for each curved screen. I have the texts placed in 3D space with casting shadow option turned on and I have my camera and the null object which controls it and over here I have my splitted pictures as we did just now now of course you can go ahead and make as many columns as you want you can also go ahead with the rows and it will give you a slightly different result experiment with this technique and use this great script to make your life much easier and this whole process much friendlier i really hope that you learned something from this tutorial and if you enjoyed it please like it follow me to get notified of future uploads and more tutorials and even free project files if you have any questions or suggestions i will really like to hear them so make sure to leave a comment down below thank you for watching and i will see you next time